بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از قاری محمد قاسم علمی فروم الفرقان الحکیم اکیڈمی لاہور پاکستان مائی ڈیئر ویوورز مائی ڈیئر سٹوڈنٹس اینڈ مائی ڈیئر ریسپیکٹڈ ٹیچرز فرینڈس ٹوڈے آئی ایم میکنگ دس ویڈیو فار یو دوز ہو وانٹ ٹو ٹیچ دا ہولی قرآن آل اوور دا ورلڈ ان انگلش اور اردو سو ٹوڈے آئی ایم bringing a few stories to related our prophet muhammad peace be upon him and inshallah i will tell you about munafikin hypocrites prior to uh, the coming of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam to madina the tribes of uh, aws and uh, khizraj were always uh, calling with uh, each other and they left harmony and the peaceful coexistence should be maintained between the people of madina they were keen to have a common a uh, ruler abdullah bin ubay bin uh, solul a citizen of medina was a very intelligent experienced in worldly matters clever and a cunning person he had great influence over the aws and the uh, khizraj tribes and the people of medina accepted his leadership and uh, what prepared to crown him as a king and ruler of uh, medina he foresaw himself as a future king and a ruler of medina after rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam and his followers entered medina they became a strong force and the people of madina accepted the leadership of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam this shattered the hopes of abdullah bin ubay bin solul of becoming the ruler of madina abdullah bin ubay bin solul hoped that if rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam had not come to medina he would have been installed as a ruler of the city being a clever and cunning person he hide his dislike and hatred for rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam and his followers very cleverly and he and his followers accepted islam to show everyone that they were muslims but at heart they were uh, dangerous enemies of islam and they cooperated with the jews in plotting against the muslim the jews found friends in the, these people as they had the fear that they will lose control of the business of medina abdullah bin ubay bin sulul and his followers are uh, termed munafik hypocrites in islam yes the last story in this video was with the, the kufar of makkah after rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam safely got away from the makkah makkan plot of assassination the makkans felt very humiliated and defeated the makkan tribes settled their personal quarrels and differences and became a uh, untied united became a united force in the desire to destroy the muslims 
the kufar of makkah did not let the muslims live in peace for very long the uh, sturdy uh, progress and the gaining of strength by the muslims made the kufar very uneasy as they feared that their way of life social and economy and leadership was in dangerous the kufar became worried with the news force of islam and began planning to crush uh, this force a group of uh, men under the leader of uh, Khors bin Jabir from amongst the Kufar came to Medina and stole some camels from the Muslim. This was the first provocation by the Kufar against the Muslims. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa, alayhi wa sallam asked some Muslims to follow them and the Kufar managed to escape. In the month of Rajab 17, the month after Hijrat, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sent a party of 12 men under the leader or leadership of Hazrat Abdullah bin Jahesh radiallahu ta'ala anhu to investigate the movement of the Meccans. This group of Sahaba went out to uh, Nakhla, situated between uh, Taif and uh, Makkah. Here are uh, skirmish to place against a caravan returning to Makkah, a laden with the goods. One Makkan, uh, Amr bin uh, Hazar, Hazarmi, was uh, killed and two were taken prisoners. This group safely returned to Medina with uh, the two pris uh, prisoners and the goods taken during the skirmish. Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa sallam was not uh, happy with uh, this situation as he knew that the kufar would want to take uh, revenge. In the second year of Hijrat, a caravan of the Kufar of Makkah under the leadership of Abu Sufyan went to Syria sensing trouble on his return. He sent a message to Makkah asking for help as he feared an attack from the Muslims. The commander of the Kufar Abu Jahal left Makkah with an army of 1,000 men to assist Abu Sufyan and to confront the Muslim Muslims of uh, Medina. And I hope so you will like this uh, these stories. And uh, if you like then please uh, share it as much as possible on Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, WhatsApp and Facebook. Shayad, ke kisi ke dil mein utar jaye meri baat. May Allah keep you always happy and succeeds you in, in deen dunya and akhira. Ameen. Allah Hafiz.